If you're trying to add your ebook to Smashwords, you may have noticed getting formatting right can be a pain in the butt. Well, worry no more. Here's a quick and dirty guide to getting that green check mark. Open a new document in Microsoft Word. Before you do anything, go ahead and save your file as a 1993 to 2007 doc file. Meat Grinder is a fickle beast, so it doesn't accept the more modern .x file. Now you want to adjust the style of the file. In the home ribbon, go to styles. There's an option to modify them right here to get the full list. I usually modify the no spacing style. To the right of your styles, there is a drop down menu with several options. The one you need is modify. Click on that to bring up the modify dialog box. Give your new style a name. I'm going to go with smash words text. Pick a font here. Just to be on the safe side, I go with Arial. Then go down here to Format. Select Paragraph in this menu. Choose First Line Indent. It should automatically default to 0.5 inches. If you already have your story written and you just want to get it formatted properly, this is what you do. First, copy the text in the document open a new file, go to paste special in your home ribbon, pull up that dialog box and select unformatted text. Then go ahead and paste and modify away. Once you're done with your story, you're going to want to add a title page. Go back to the top of your document, write your title and name, then go to the insert tab in your ribbon. Select page break. Now you have a page dedicated to your title. I usually modify the title style with Arial, size 28 centered. Make sure your paragraphs are not indented. Select the text you want to be modified and you're done. You also want to add a copyright page. Something like this works. Page break from the title page and add this in. Make sure it has Smashwords edition in the copyright. Lastly, you'll need an About Me page. Line it up how you like. I add my blog's dialog to the page. To do this yourself, go to the Insert ribbon, Picture, and then Add from Device. You'll want to add links to your other projects if that applies to you. Remember, you can't add links from outside Smashwords. Barnes & Noble isn't too keen on you advertising for Amazon. So there you have it. I hope this quick and dirty guide helps you out. What are you working on? Let me know in the comments below. For more quick and dirty tips, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my friend, keep your mind in the gutter.